Okay, I've got 10 terabytes of video data to edit this winter. I'm going to be spending a lot of time at this little desk. It's going to be a lot of coffee. So, I guess I'd better get to it. Here I am, day 107, and I'm back in Grossmore National Park. It's a cool overcast day. Okay, it's not really day 107, it's just I'm off the road now. And we'll call it day 107 just because. Uh, man, I had a really, really good time being out on the road. And well, this will just be a little bit of a recap and uh, a quick let you know what's going to be happening in the future. I've, uh, I'll be doing three types of videos. One is going to be the series on my trip, and that will be pretty well a day-to-day -day, uh, account of what happened and where I was. Uh, now, it won't be 106 episodes, but <laughs> it could be close. So start expecting about, eh, probably two postings a week over the winter. Uh, I will have some regular uh, videos I'm going to be making in between, which will talk about equipment and how it held up on the, the trip and things like that. And there's a whole lot of snippets that I recorded, but I didn't get time to post or just couldn't find again. But as I relive the last 106 days, I will get a chance to uh, uh, to find those snippets, and I'll post those as snippets from the road, even though they're you know, snippets from Cowhead now. Uh, anyway, I'm off the road. Oh, there'll be some planning videos. Um, but I'll just, yeah, let's just do a, a very general uh, go through of, of what the trip entailed. What did I do? I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Although I rode a lot solo this summer, it's not like Amelia Earhart taking off and doing her solo, solo flight across the Atlantic from Harbor Grace, Newfoundland. And no, that's not her Lockheed Electra. That's an old DC-3. But this is just an example of some of the neat things that ran across this summer while out on the road. The summer really got broken down into eight sort of separate events. The first one was going to Nova Scotia for the, the very last Blue Nose Rally. It's the 50th one. Now they missed two years because of of uh, COVID-19, but this was the 50th rally. The rally had extra special meaning to me, and you'll find out more about that when I actually do the videos about the rally. When I came back to Newfoundland, I led a dozen bikes around the province as part of the ST Owners Group. So I, I, I gather you're prepared in your patience level to herd cats for the next few weeks. Go ladies! I don't think it was as bad as actually herding cats. And I think everyone had a pretty good time. 
should be a lot of good video coming from that 12 days and a lot of stuff in the province that, well, some of it I hadn't seen either. And after that, got to go to the Horizons Unlimited Travelers event in Kill Devil Lodge in Grossmore National Park. First event of this kind I've ever been to and really enjoyed it. I'd love to participate in another one again, but I hope there's going to be some, some, some interesting video coming out of that. Between the Rolling Rock Stock, the ST Owners event, and the Horizons Unlimited, I got to spend a couple of weeks chilling out in provincial parks, just living in the tent trailer. It was very inexpensive, and it was actually a really, really good time. So there's going to be more than a few just camping and chilling and enjoying summer videos coming up out of that portion of the summer. Then things got a little busy. Ended up going down through the New England states, through Niagara Falls, to re a theater school reunion, and on to OnStock, another ST owner's event near Renfrew, Ontario. Met some good old friends, met a few new ones. From there, it was okay. I've got three weeks before I've got to be down in North Carolina. I ended up going down the Mississippi to a Dutch oven cook-off, visited the birthplace of the blues, and then went over to the Barber Motorcycle Museum and Superbike Races. That's what I got my license on 50 years ago. Called mine Mahedible. It seemed bigger then. <laughs> Hurricane Ian disrupted some of my plans in North Carolina. So I headed west where it was drier, went to Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, and then started to think about coming back. It was now dry in North Carolina, so came over and then up the Blue Ridge Parkway, and slowly but surely started heading north. weather, both it getting a little wetter and colder and the course of days getting shorter, did mean that I started doing more motels on the way. But I still really enjoyed the whole ride up through Pennsylvania, upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and all the way through into more familiar territory until eventually I was back on the Cabot Trail. It's the middle of October and I'm still dealing with RVs. Oh well, no, the Cabot Trail is a really good ride. There's no two ways about that. But I have to admit, I really like my gross morn. So that's just a quick look at what my summer's been like. It was a great year. 
106 days riding and well I'm still getting a few rides in anyway I hope you've enjoyed this there's gonna be a lot more detailed videos coming up subscribe if you haven't and thank you very much for coming along for the ride